everyone, welcome back to Vertical South. I'm John and I've got Nick here. Um, we're going to do another kilter video. You may have seen from the last kilter video at the outro that I was pretty annoyed with my performance. So we're going to set a problem that we think we can send here on 70 degrees and kind of show you the process for how we set on the kilter board. If you guys like what we're doing, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you got any ideas for other videos we could do, pop it in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get to it. I don't know how most people set their kilter board problems, but I definitely set uh, some when I'm at work and I'm not in front of the board. But it's just John and I in here right now, and we got the board, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of pick some holds and uh, feel out where where this route's gonna go. And John, I don't know about you, but I'd like a nice big jug start. Yeah, me too. What if we got two opposing side pulls, like a side pull for the left hand and one for the right? Oh, that looks tough. That's, I mean, this is pretty good right here. Let's uh, spark it up on the uh, app real quick. All right, it up, and then... Yeah, let's say we give him some feet on the kick plate, and then maybe one good jug foot to dig into uh, as we drive up to the next move. Right there. Maybe, yeah, maybe there, or even that, that one there. Yeah. This is it cool when I shoot for video editing purposes when I hold the camera at 45 degrees? Uh, a Dutch angle. <laughs> is that what it's called? It's a Dutch angle. It increases the anxiety in the viewer. This yeah. Is, this isn't a horror film, so. It creates anxiety in the filmer, too. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Aw, oh, Nick's cooking with gas now. You can see the gears turning. That, but the gas just ran out. That's about to where I got. So, oh, okay. So you should try. Right. The, you I'll try these from moves. there. Oh yeah, I gotta use Nick's secret weapon for climbing. Climbing chuck. Climbing chuck. Unicorn dust in there. Friction Labs. Unicorn dust. Not a sponsor. <laughs> just. Just saying. Just saying. Almost too fine. Comes off your hands, gets in your eyes. <laughs> Especially on the over. For when you need to chuck. Yeah. For when you need to chuck your pupils. Dude. I don't know if we're setting anything easier than what we climbed last time. So you're saying we just got stronger? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. With the rest of the problem considered, like you said, we kind of hit the crux by going into that undercling. The, the pinch undercling, the punder cling. And then we cross, it was left into that jug. Or is that, is that right? So it's right hand here, left hand here, Yeah. right? It does feel natural to go to this, and that's pretty good. So I think that'll be the next. I just need uh, a foot. A foot. So I got those two big jugs to tow in on, because this is not the. This is kind of like the finish. See this one here to oppose this underclink, because you'll still have a hand on it. Yeah. And then you'll be able to pull out, hit this as a right hand. Right there. Yeah, we need to give them a foot to get over there, so boom. Or, yeah, we could just give them a, the uh, do -si do finish, one, ha one hand on each side. I don't know how that's a do -si do but. Yeah, so what, you would hit left or across right in here, was that where it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, you go left, boom. right, and then you could go left out to that other hold. And then we could go and do that as the finish, the two hand finish. Yeah. Let's do that. All right, now we just have to send it from the beginning. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll give it a run from the, from the start. John, you can go first. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> let's see what I can do. I'm already annoyed. Okay. First four run. 
of this new problem right from the beginning and I'm gonna try to do my best to get it. I know I've been struggling, people. I'm gonna do my best, I promise. We're all with you. <gasps> the climbing, but I, I, I got my crew with me, but I need the climbing to come and find me. Come on, don't be so lazy. Nice. I did it! Oh, I'm so stoked. Yeah, Nick, uh, you really put in the hard work on on setting this problem. I think it turned out pretty dang good. It's not nearly as hard. I think actually most of the moves in the beginning are tougher than the moves on that V1 that we were climbing, um, but the crux is easier and allows us to get to the easy moves at the end. Whereas that other one was like, oh, it's kind of mellow, do some cool footwork, and then a ridiculously hard move to go to a ridiculously hard finish. Whereas this is just kind of sustained the whole way through. Like, that was pretty good. All right. What did you think about the two hand finish? I think it's kind of an interesting artifact of like the kilter board or maybe training boards where there's like two hand finishes. Uh, it's not something we ever set on our boulders, but it is kind of unique to the kilter board. And I think with the, it's appropriate in some ways. Like oftentimes there's not a good enough hold at this angle for the grade you're trying to set to create a finish that someone can match. So if you have to bring in two holds to achieve like a good finish, then maybe it's worth it. Nice. All right, it's your turn now. I'm happy now, I gotta send. <laughs> that looked fun though. It is fun, yeah. Uh, is it I think you've done a really good job. Is it a cool throw into that undercling? The undercling was cool. I think you might've seen that uh, I actually matched it that time. You did match it, yeah. Uh, which I thought was pretty fun and it kind of... It's big enough to match, if you can match it, match it, yeah. Yeah, it helped me hedge my bet on like how much effort I was gonna put into that move. Mm -hmm. So I went for it and then I decided, I was like, no, I need to conserve my energy for the rest of it. And it allowed me to kind of save a little bit of energy. All right, come on, Nick. You got it. Sick. Nice. Come on. Oh no. We're back in. This is the sun go. Second try, gonna use all the feet properly. Nice, Nick. Sick. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> nice. So extra. That oh yeah, it's very extra. But I will say that two hand finish, John, allows you, if you want, to just do that. Add the pizzazz. No! Get a little pizzazz in there. Oh, that's fun. That was that's, sick. Uh, I think we set a good problem. Yeah. So on that note. We're gonna show you how you can climb this if you want to climb it. Two Fs and a cliff, all right, cool. Yeah, why are you naming it Cliffhanger, Nick? So we're gonna call this Cliffhanger uh, after the Sylvester Stallone uh, 1993 film. And the reason uh, I'm forcing this name on this problem, <laughs> because when you hit those, when you hit the double finish, you feel like Sylvester Stallone, like, ah! You feel like Rocky, which is a different movie, but like you get that, that sense of just like, yeah, accomplishment. So I think cliffhanger is appropriate. Perfect. We did it. We sent on 70. The problem's called cliffhanger and it's under uh, my account, the nick of time. So if you have a kilter board, just be sure to log on, check the nick of time and then climb it, rate it, give it some stars, Tell if it's a v V3 or V2, and even post a video of you uh, climbing on Instagram would be super cool. And then we can see you climb it.
And that would be amazing. And we'll see you next time on our kilter board series. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs>